Uh, beleza, galera? Tudo bem? O meu microfone deve estar alto, porque eu vou bater meu computador. Epa! Hoje vamos reagir ao Indie Road da, da coisa, não sei como se diz, é Indie Road da Nintendo. Então vamos já, né? Tem de ser. Aqui pro React, né? Eu vou minimizar isto. Como pode ver, já tô aqui no, no Nintendo. Pois é, uh, pois aí, antes, deixa eu ver aqui uma coisa: Twitch. Twitch. Twitch.tv. Deixa eu ver aqui uma coisa. Além disso, deixa eu diminuir um bocado isto. Eventos especiais Nintendo. Ah, podemos ver por aqui, né? Deixa eu ver o painel de controle. Canal. Vamos ver como tá aqui. É, tô, só tô vendo aqui como tá. Alô? Muito bem, muito bem. Uh, disparar. Mas vamos ver por aqui agora, pro YouTube. E também seja bem-vindo no YouTube, tá bom? Seja bem-vindo ao. Se... Acho que tá demorando muito para colocar em tela grande. Bom, já colocou a tela grande, pronto. E só falta é 3 minutos para o Indie Road. Então apareçam para ver o Indie Road. Vocês também estão também no YouTube, tá bom? Mas não dá para ver os comentários. Eu posso. Agora o meu gato tá aqui comigo. Vai ver comigo o Indie Road, né, Thor? Né? Queres ver comigo o Indie Road? É fofinho, muito fofinho. Né? Tu és muito fofinho. Tu és muito fofinho, tu és muito fofinho, muito fofinho. Eu até levanta o rabo quando faço isto. Eu gasto, eu gasto muito, eu gasto muito. Tu é, tu é, tu é, tu é, tu é. Daddy, you will teach me how to twerk? No more TV, no more computer. Vai, Thor, fica aqui deitado, fica aqui deitado, ok? Já tá com salário em The Road. Thor. Agora não dá. Oh, pois é, para ir antes disso. Oh, Thor, para! Foda-se! Thor! Pronto, já está. É só por, por acaso não, não dar problema no, na interferência no coisa. Eu posso de novo. Fica aí deitado, ouviste? Fica aí deitado. Oh, já. Falta 20 segundos. Não, 30 segundos. Falta 20 segundos. Aqui vamos nós. 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Aí vamos. Ixi. Ai. Welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're excited to share some upcoming indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Let's get the show on the road! Many years ago, at the top of Mount Fugu, the cat god, Nico, appeared from a sakura flower floating in a nearby river. Nico would visit the farms in our village, granting each one good fortune and prosperity in turn. But some in the village became impatient for their own blessings, and in a fit of jealousy, they drove Nico away. 
banishing him from the land. Many years passed, and our village worked hard to create our own success. The story of Nico drifted from memory. Yet there are some who still believe in the power of magic and myth. Welcome to Mineko's Night Market. Long ago, the villagers at the base of Mount Fugu worshipped the mythical sun cat Nico. However, recent sightings reveal this myth may no longer be a legend. As the adorable Mineko in this narrative adventure sim, you'll do various jobs, befriend the townsfolk, and craft all sorts of doodads in preparation for the weekly night market. And wow, this market is bustling! There's a ton of things to do here, like joining parades, entering cat races, and performing on stage. Did we mention cat races? Nearly everything you find on the island can be sold at the market. Now that's one happy customer. And if you're just itching to explore, the island's got lots of secrets to uncover and puzzles to solve. But be careful, you might encounter some meddlesome agents along the way. Stop by Mineko's Night Market, setting up shop on Nintendo Switch, September 26th. Hello, I'm the Shashi 我们希望你能和我们一起来度过这个沙漠时光,谢谢 Love adventure, role playing, and simulation games? This sequel to My Time at Portia has it all! Through a captivating story, rife with dozens of characters and side quests, you're tasked with restoring this post-apocalyptic desert community to its former glory. Equipped with your trusty tools, you'll gather resources to assemble machines and transform a derelict workshop into a finely tuned facility. Lots of customization options are also in your toolbox, from crafting items to building and decorating your home however you'd like. But there's more to Sandrock than just building. Why not venture into ancient ruins and scavenge for relics? Or My? say hi to the locals and make some friends? Unfortunately, this town's kind of popular with the monsters, so take them down in melee combat. My time at Sandrock launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. Ah, but I don't say you've been on. Come on. Culinaria. This is overcooked. Ever dreamed of having your very own restaurant? Well, now you can. In the roguelite management sim, play it. Decorate and automate the restaurant of your dreams. Place and arrange appliances however you'd like, but be strategic about it, cause you're gonna have your hands full. Lots of hungry customers will be clamoring for meals at lightning fast speeds. Forse Serve up some deliciousness when Played Up launches on Nintendo Switch this October. Eu vou um pouco o volume. Cześć, jestem Marek. A ja Monika. Quilt and Cuts of Calico to gra, która powstała z naszej miłości do gier planszowych i kotów. 
gdy wyobrażam sobie idealne miejsce do odpoczynku, widzę ciepły koc i mojego mruczącego kota Darwina. Mogę wtedy zrelaksować się przy ulubionej książce. Także dla mnie koty są synonimem przytulności i ciepła. Te uczucia chcieliśmy wyrazić w naszej adaptacji gry planszowej Kaliko. Mamy nadzieję, że poczujecie je tak samo jak my. Miłego oglądania. Looking for the perfect board game night? Check out Quilts and Cats of Calico. Adapted from the real life tabletop game Calico, you'll make a quilt from pattern pieces of fabric. Place pieces on the board, sew buttons to score points, and attract adorable cats. Aw, cute! Each cat has a preferred pattern, so stitch in style to become a master quilt maker. Get cozy with up to three friends in local and online multiplayer. Join ranked matches against random players. Or try your hand at weekly challenges. You can also take some time to customize your cats and give them a positively great look. Cuddle up with Quilts and Cats of Calico, launching on Nintendo Switch this autumn. Rift of Necker Dancer. Epa, it's fast pawn. Wow, this game has some sick beats. I can tell. You've been bobbing your head for a while. In this spin-off of Crypt of the Necro Dancer, you've still got a move to the rhythm, but it's got a new musical twist of lane-based combat. Monsters will come flying at you, so match the on-screen prompts to kick them to the curb. Each one has a different movement pattern and some take multiple hits to defeat. Oh, and let's not forget boss battles. That'll really get you grooving. And if you need a break from the baddies, there's a special mini game to play for each of the five character storylines. Keep the beat alive when Rift of the Necrodancer launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Next up, we've got some DLC news to share for games we previously featured in Indie World. More puzzles await in the Cupboards and Drawers DLC for a little to the left. Get tidying across 25 new puzzles as you explore a world of small spaces, secret compartments, and surprising stuff stuffed into every drawer. Charming new illustrations and scenarios are also included in this paid DLC, launching on Nintendo Switch this June. Dig into more roguelite puzzle action with the Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon Puzzler's Pack. Venture forth as two newly playable characters, test your puzzle prowess with quandary challenges, and make your way through the perplexing halls of Castle Quandary. You can also pay Mr. Hat a visit for over 20 in-game hats to modify runs, or pick up some nifty new relics in Chester's shop. This free DLC shovels its way onto Nintendo Switch this spring, Expand your flock in the Relics of the Old Faith update for Cult of the Lamb. Dozens of new items, relics, and enemies are scattered across remixed dungeons, guarded by the new versions of the four guardian bishops. Take your spoils back to the cult with new buildings to construct and followers to recruit, plus a new unlockable quest. And after beating the game, keep the faith going with the new permadeath, gauntlet, and boss rush modes. This free update launches on Nintendo Switch April 24th. Yeah. Hello, I am Funny Man Video Game Donkey from Big Mode Publishing. I am joined today by the creator of Animal Well, Billy Basso. Hello, I'm Billy Basso, the developer of Animal Well. I've been working on Animal Well for over five years at this point all alone, making everything that goes into the game, including the engine. I was trying to give people the experience of finding something new in a place they've already been before. Pretty much somewhere that's filled with puzzles that you would want to keep coming back to over and over again. I hope you enjoy Animal Well when it comes out on Nintendo Switch. Thank you.
A labyrinth! Well, well, well! It sounds like you're ready for animal wealth. In this atmospheric, pixelated world, you'll search for treasures as you gradually uncover a dense environment. Where you go is entirely up to you. Perfect! So, I shouldn't need to worry about anything dangerous, right? Yeah, about that. You're not alone in this labyrinth. Many interesting creatures live here, but some might be hostile, so stay alert. Any items you've picked up can be used in a number of ways, like making a quick getaway or having friendly creatures help you out in a pinch. And speaking of items, there's a lot to uncover here. So get crafty with your items and see what you find. I'll be well prepared then. Summon your courage and curiosity for Animal Well, launching on Nintendo Switch this winter. Guess what? It's crime o'clock! Mm, that's odd. My watch says otherwise. I meant the puzzle exploration game. Anyway, there's no time to waste. You've got over 40 cases to solve across time and space. But where, or I guess when, do I even begin? Elementary, my dear Andrew. Look at your map. There are lots of eras to visit. From the lost age to a cybernetic future. In each era, you'll see how crime scenes develop for different time ticks. Wait a second. Could I do something in one era and change events in another? Exactly! By traveling through time, meeting characters, and resolving each case, the map will change and more adventures will be unlocked. Sounds like a timeless experience. Set your alarms to Crime O'Clock when it launches on Nintendo Switch June 30th. Hello, I'm Peter, project leader at Rain Games. I'm Ola, the art director. And I'm Marion, co-producer. For the last 10 years, we created a variety of different games, expanding the Tassograd universe. Now we are returning to our roots for a sequel. These titles are not only a celebration of the original game, but also Scandinavian nature and folklore, the origin of so much of our game's uh, visual identity. We hope you'll find as much wonder as we have in this universe and join our homecoming. We see you at the top of the tower. Whoa! Electric powers! Shocking, am I right? Close! In Teslagrad 2, you'll harness electromagnetic powers to solve physics-based puzzles. Move seamlessly through Scandinavian-inspired environments, accompanied by an orchestral soundtrack influenced by Nordic folk tunes. But this land holds many dangers, as fearsome beasts stand in your way. Master the art of Teslamency and defeat them to discover additional areas to explore. Plus, you can play a remastered version of the first Teslagrad game, which adds enhanced visuals and 10 extra challenge levels. Both Teslagrad 2 and Teslagrad Remastered bolt onto Nintendo Switch later today. You can get the game separately or bundled together in the Teslagrad Power Pack Edition. Hmm. Mobsters, monsters, and mysteries? Sounds like the cat's pajamas. Sign me up. Okay. Set in the 1920s within the West of Loathing universe, Shadows Over Loathing is a slapstick RPG full of silliness and stick figures. Your Uncle Murray asks you to help run his antique shop in Ocean City, but he's nowhere to be found. While searching for him, you'll encounter a sinister plot that could spell the end of the world. Venture through a sprawling black and white world filled with talking frogs, 
sentient math, and eldritch horrors. There's also a ton of roles to play. March to the beat of your own nefarious schemes as a jazz agent, or hold the curds of the cosmos in your hands as a cheese wizard. The digital version of Shadows Over Loathing launches on Nintendo Switch later today. The physical version of the game will launch this autumn. Hola, somos parte del equipo de The Game Kitchen, creadores de Blasphemous y The Last Door. Soy Enrique Cabeza, director creativo. Yo soy David Erosa, productor. Y yo Raquel Alcázar, productora junior. Blasphemous es un juego muy querido por la comunidad y desarrollar una secuela nos da la ocasión de volver a trabajar en su mundo y enriquecerlo aún más. En esta segunda parte hemos tenido la oportunidad de plasmar tanto nuevas ideas de diseño como nuevos caminos artísticos y narrativos. Os invitamos a echar un primer vistazo a Blasphemous 2. Esperamos que os guste. The Penitent One has returned. In this sequel to Blasphemous, you'll undertake a pilgrimage through a land ravaged by a foul curse known as the Miracle. Hack and slash your way through legions of bloodthirsty foes and treacherous traps in this brutal action platformer. Choose from three newly added weapons, each one deadly in their own way. Wield the War Sensor for slow but powerful flaming strikes. The rapier and dagger to attack with lightning fast precision. And the praying blade for vicious and versatile combos. By unlocking weapon memories, you'll learn more moves that'll help you survive the dangers lying ahead. Penitence awaits in Blasphemous 2, slashing onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Riley? Riley, are you there? Riley, come in. Can you hear me? Hear me? Jacob, four hours ago, a cult opened a portal above Edwards Island. Riley, yes, but are we, are we really the ones to do something about it? Have you seen anyone else around? We've been all over. We've seen different timelines, gone back to the past. We're alone. There is no one else. Riley, seriously, Riley! Lost signals. Riley returns to her hometown of Kamina to research strange electromagnetic waves. But what she discovers is more than what she bargained for. Set five years after the events of the first Oxenfree game, you'll tap into the town's ghostly signals and unsettling static. Tune the radio to communicate with supernatural beings, manipulate the world around you, and watch out for a shadowy cult attempting to open their own reality-altering portal. While exploring this beautiful yet treacherous town, use the new walkie-talkie conversation system to connect with local contacts. Some of them may have valuable info that can give you more insight into Kamina's mysteries. Your choices will have an impact on Riley's development, relationships, and the story. Will you forge deep friendships? Turn a blind eye to those in need? It's all up to you. Tune in to Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals, airing on Nintendo Switch July 12th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Thanks for staying with us so far. Before we go, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of several more indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Paper Trail? Mm-hmm. Não conheço o jogo, mas pronto. Little Kid Big CD. Chance, Chance of Snar. Não pode! 
Part of a security breach? Everything shown in today's showcase. A huge thank you to the indie community and indie partners working on games for Nintendo Switch. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, happy, happy gaming! Oh, put grilla! Putz, essa foi a melhor Nintendo no indie, foi a minha indie road de sempre. Foi a minha indie road de sempre. Então, eu vou ficando, tá bem? Então, pessoal da, do da Twitch. Eu vou ficando por aqui. Uh, me seguem se vocês quiserem. Ou não. <música>